Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Micah and this is Make It With Micah where I focus on DIYs and decor and generally all the pretty things. Um, and if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me again. I am so excited to do this video because I get to show you my new baby. I haven't picked out a name for her yet. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the description box. But just a little bit about her before we dive right in. I need to do a proper introduction, okay? So, she came about by necessity. This is my craft armoire and she is special. She's magical and I love her and I think you will too. The situation was, and I mentioned this in a prior video, so you can just sort of like tune me out for a second if you've already heard it. But I used to do all my crafts and all my YouTube filming in a spare bedroom in our home. Um, it was generally our guest bedroom, okay? But because of all that's going on, we had no guest. And I sort of took it over and it got a little crazy sometimes. You know how it is with these crafts, okay? If you're a crafter, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, things have gotten a little bit better in the world as we all know and my father-in-law was able to come and stay with us and he's probably going to be with us for a little bit so i had to sort of figure out a different solution for the craft space and she was born do you like my my vanna white or maybe it's vanna black <laughs> anyway um i went online and i was trying to figure out like okay i need to figure out how i'm gonna do my crafts i don't have another bedroom to use i, I didn't want to take over my husband's office i actually really do want to take it over but you know, that's neither here nor there at the moment. And I saw something called, I saw something called a, it's called a dream box, okay? If you've not seen this thing, you wanna look it up. It's this like huge, amazing cabinet thing that has like a fold out table, but it's like $2,300, $2,300, okay? I did not stutter. And that's not really in the budget. So I kept looking, kept looking, and then I saw something called a sewing armoire, which is what this is, and it has a fold-out table. And is it as nice as a dream box? No, but it came at a price tag of about, I think, I got it at Walmart, and it's $389, which is, you know, a $2,000 reduction from the dream box. And when you see all of the bells and whistles, I really think it's really, really worth the money. It's very sturdy, it's, it's very good construction. The company is Solder Harbor. Um, I will link it in the description box. Um, it's like I said, it's at Walmart. I've also seen it on Amazon. I think it was a little bit more money on Amazon and Wayfair. The other two sites, they're, I think they're definitely more expensive. So if you want this, get it at Walmart. This video is not sponsored. I wish it was, but it's not. But I just, I am such a believer now. I've been using this now for about a month and I love it. We're gonna dive right into this thing. If you like this video, it would mean so much if you could hit that like button. And if we're not friends yet, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm pretty active on Instagram and TikTok as well. And I do a lot of DIYs there that I don't necessarily post here just because posting to YouTube is like a whole thing, you know, but I can just like knock out a craft in like an hour and post it like the same night. So I do a lot of stuff there too. And also like cooking things. If you like that kind of a thing, check me out. That information will also be in the description box. Okay. So I think that is it. Let's get into the craft armoire. Okay, I know, I know that was very dramatic, but this is the most excitement I've had in months. Okay, you guys, so please bear with me. Now, the armor was fine as is, but I decided to grab some pegboards from Home Depot and hang them inside just for more storage space. So that the pegboards match the armor, I spray painted them with this spray paint from Rust-Oleum. I also grabbed a couple of racks from the Dollar Tree that you will see on the left hand side and I spray painted those as well to match. I decided to hang them on the insides of the doors in this general location. 
But before I show you those, I want to show you this little sort of like hack I did with this wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. I saw this on Instagram and I knew I wanted to give it a try. I basically took the wrapping paper, I think I used two and a half rolls, and I hung it on the wall behind the armoire. It's kind of like a little accent wall. And to do so, I used clear push pins. And this is how it turned out. Now, is this a long-term solution? No, but I think it's super cute. And then as you'll see there, I hung that little rack on the side of the armoire. Now I also decided to swap out the knobs and I found these knobs at Hobby Lobby. I just love these pegboards. They just add so much more space. You know, I love having my tools easily accessible. What do you guys think? Okay, now let's just dive right into this armoire. As you can see, it's got shelving. It's got a little power cord where you can plug in your glue gun, maybe your phone, you know, your heat tool. I found this little paint storage system at Michael's and I thought it was perfect for this space. Now these little bins are from the Dollar Tree. These are actually cat pans, but they're really big and they fit the space perfectly. And I love them because, you know, I keep a lot of my craft supplies in bins in the, in the garage, in the basement, but I can take these bins with me and sort of fill up what I need for a particular craft, bring them upstairs and it keeps everything neat and clean. If you see these bins at the Dollar Tree, you definitely want to grab them. Now my favorite part about this craft armoire is this little pull out table. It pulls all the way out and then the bottom flap of the table will extend out. You kind of pull it up like this. It's hard to do while you're filming. But as you can see, there's also more storage underneath the table. And I found these little like shoebox kind of containers from Amazon. I could also put, I think, like a cricket in that general area. But for now, I'm just going to use these little storage bins. This is what the table looks like when it's completely extended. Look at all that space, you guys. It actually works perfect for my needs because I can also film my you know DIY tutorials right here on this table. All I need to do is set up the tripod on the other side of the table. I sit on the opposite side and it works perfectly. And once I'm all done, all I have to do is fold everything back and hide it away. Now, just a little word about some of my accessories. I love this little tablet stand from Ikea, and then I also use this cell phone stand from Amazon, as well as this light from Amazon. It is a game changer. It really helps me to see everything very clearly. I will link these items in the description box if you're interested. And they store very well in the shelving space. Okay, so another little hack I wanted to show you is this soup can hack. Yes, this is for soup cans. I found it on Amazon and it fits like those bigger paints perfectly. I highly, highly recommend it. That is basically it, you guys. I hope you liked this little tour of my little craft armoire. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I have so many fun DIYs to come.